Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. Today we're going to take a look at a color by number mandala by Victoria Chukalina. And there is a book one and a book two. So we will be looking at both of them uh, today. So a uh, regular size coloring book, a glossy front cover shows us what we're going to find inside. On the back is the color chart. If you have problems finding a certain color, you can look at this and match your color to that. But of course, you don't have to match them. If it says pink, just grab any, any pink. You can switch it up from time to time. Once, pick a light pink. Next time, pick a dark pink. Next time, pick a fluorescent pink, and so on. So we start with a This Belongs To page, which is colorable. We have the copyright information here, which tells us it is an original publication from 2019. We have a color test page, so you can check out the colors that you're using, and also down here. And then we start right into the mandalas. Now on the back side of every page, rather than covering it with black ink, which will make the book curl, it, it has a, um, a gray pattern on the back. And this is various shades of gray, and I think that the darkest color here is a dark gray. It uh, really doesn't stand out as a black, so there's no black on there at all. It's all shades of gray, which is very interesting, and I definitely like that. So here we go. We have a mandala at the top of the page and the color palette at the bottom of the page. This is the only thing that I think is a drawback to this book is um, the palette should be over here um, in case it, it just kind of spoils the um, aesthetic of the mandala but I mean it isn't uh, anything that's going to make these any less fun to do. For some of us, it's the process more than the finished picture that uh, coloring does for us. But um, these are really nice mandalas. They're unique. This one's got a hedgehog in the middle. No, it's not a hedgehog. It's a porcupine, I think. And little acorns all around here. And these are leaves. Very nice. Um, it also looks like not all colors are used from the palette in each one of these. Though, maybe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, maybe they do use them all. Are they the same from page to page? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, I see what they're doing. So there's only the colors that you use listed at the bottom, and the numbers are different per page. The number one is a red here, the number one is a pink on this page, and then it goes back to red, and so on. Yeah, really interesting, and the lot, at the end here we're getting picture ones as well. This is definitely nice mandalas. They're simple, and sometimes that is what we need. Now this one's got 12 colors in it. Wow. So yeah, these are getting detailed at the back here, not only in design, but in color. shells. I love that. And then at the back of the book, uh, she showcases um, a straight coloring book for, of, of mandalas and a, uh, oh, this book right here. And then there she has some pattern books and their 
listed at the back there. I've looked at all of Victoria's books, and um, they are all very interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at book two and see if it's any, see if it's the same. It has the same, the exact same color palette on the back. So the colors are the same, it's just the colors don't have the same number per page. We start with the This Book Belongs To, the copyright page, this is copyrighted 2020, the color test page, and into the mandalas we go. The same, it's a lotus flower background on the backs. And we start off, we start off a little bit more complicated than the first book did. Hmm, they're using some gray lines in here as well. Yeah, this book is definitely continues on after the first book. They start off with more detailed ones than the first book started off with. And again, they're, they're really nice mandalas. It's just that having the uh, palette at the bottom of the page... Uh, spoils the aesthetic of the page, but oh wow, that's cool. Oh, that one's going to be fun. Hmm. Oh, I love that. I like owls, so... There's the lotus flower. It's the exact same one that is over here. Fifteen colors in this one. Wow. And the and all these last ones. These are really going to be pretty. Um, one thing you could do is, since they're all inside a frame, is you could cut them out and um, paste them into. Uh, a scrapbook, a journal. Hmm. And then at the back of the book, it uh, advertises a straight mandala. It advertises book one. And again, we get volume one and two of large patterns. If anybody wants me to uh, get one of these pattern books, they're very, very simple. Um, the first one is called Flower, Birds, and Butterflies, Large Print, and they are large print and they are easy. It's called Easy Coloring Patterns. Second one is A Walk in the Forest, Large Print, Volume 2. And I do believe there's one or two more that have been published. So, once again, this is Color by Number, Mandala, Volume, oh, sorry, Book 1 and Book 2 by Victoria Chukalina.